Guys, if you want a manifesting story <sighs> to rock all manifesting stories, this one is it. All right, Keenan. What happened today? Have you been thinking about this day for a long time? As long as I can remember, yeah. There's no time before duck football, is there? <laughs> Do you remember your first memory of, of duck football? Um, probably playing catch with Kenya and then I do so. Yeah. Yeah, for your eighth birthday? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, we're going to Kenya. You gotta go get him. Wow. Am I going to the games when you're little? Yeah. Being lots of fans and super loud. And wishing that that was me someday. So. biggest goals was to play D1 and get a scholarship. Those are the two mottos he's been using for the last year and a half. He's busted his ass, he got himself recruited, like he's done all the things, right? Did you face some adversity getting here? Was it hard work? Yes, it was a lot of hard work. I had a lot of injuries over my career, but it didn't really stop me from doing anything I wanted to do, so. Um, and especially through COVID, not being able to go to any of my camps I wanted to go to, or even start my own recruiting process. I had to use Twitter to get all my calls, and it was really hard, but, you know, I worked my butt off, so. You did awesome. Had his ACL surgery today, huh? Did good, buddy. But then he wound up having football this spring instead of, you know, last fall, um, and he had an insane season. They finished um, undefeated. This morning at 7.30 in the morning, got a call from the coach. Today I got a call from Coach Johnson, the recruiter at the University of Oregon, and he offered me a preferred walk on today. <laughs> the insanity of this is beyond anything. I started taking him to games when he was seven years old, six and a half years old. There's pictures of him outside the Oregon Duck locker room watching the players walk by and walk onto the field. Pretty crazy, right? Has it sunk in that you're going to be an Oregon Duck? You're going to walk up the tunnel? Probably hasn't sunk in yet, but it definitely is real and yeah. it is a real thing, but I don't know if I felt it yet until yeah. I go this weekend on Saturday. It's just, it's crazy. His whole room is duck memorabilia. He's been looking at a picture of Autzen Stadium on his wall since he was in fifth grade. Guys, I can't, I can't even, I just, I have no word. And to like, be here today and it be out of the blue and everything he ever worked for and every dream. 12 years is just insane. Like, it's so crazy. Yeah, how are you yeah. feeling? I'm feeling nervous and excited all at the same time. Yeah, what does today mean to you? Um, it's a really big deal because um, it's my dream school and I've been a big fan of Oregon for as long as I can remember. And uh, be able to play and play on Austin Stadium is a really big dream come true. I hope and pray that like you're inspired to teach this to your kids so that they can achieve their dreams and so that they understand that nothing is impossible. Because you 
guys, literally everyone laughed at us when we would even like think Oregon. It was really just the two of us that kind of silently was like, yeah, that's where you're gonna play. And it's crazy to think that it's your turn to like inspire the kids, right? Yes. <clears throat> My turn to inspire, especially my high school freshman class, uh, a lot of others from anywhere that, you know, yeah. if you work hard, you can kind of get whatever you want, so. Oh, it's just crazy. It was the most impossible outcome that just, that's what the universe does, right? It delivers better than you ever expected. It delivers the ultimate dream. The ultimate, ultimate dream. Dreams come true, y'all. I ended up getting a full ride academic scholarship along with a preferred walk on to play football too. So to be a division one athlete. What are you now? I'm an Oregon Duck. Yes, Go you're Ducks. division one athlete. That's what I'm talking about. Dreams do come true.